Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So since it's almost the end of September, it's time to set up our journals for October. And as always, I'm going to be using my bullet journal by Archon Olive. And you can use my code ARDENBUJOS to get 10% off, which also helps to support me and my channel. As always, I'm going to start with a little flip through. I really love the theme for September and I also used it quite a lot. So the layout ended up being pretty similar in October as well. This month I kind of wanted to transition from summer to fall and I'm really into floral themes again at the moment so I wanted to do a kind of like fall colored dried flowers vibe with some green tones and orange and greenish yellow and I'm also going to be using some stamps this time because I thought they would fit really well. I'm starting with my little calendar just like last month, first coloring in the background of the weekdays with the light green marker and then using the stamps on top of them. Just a little tip for using the stamps, uh, don't press too hard so it doesn't smudge because I did that with the first T and it's much easier to just fix the letters with a bit of black instead of white. Then I'm writing the dates underneath in black and this time I used a bit of a thinner black pen. The days are two spaces wide and then I have one space in between the weeks as well. I'm using all of the colors as a little decoration on the top and the bottom just to fill the empty days from September and November. I really like using them as accents to add a bit more color. In between the weeks I'm making some lines with the darker green and the ruler to separate them a bit and in general I just use this calendar as an overview so it doesn't have any other practical use. On the bottom of the page, I'm adding a small YouTube and Instagram section to write down my subscriber and follower count just on the first day of the month to kind of keep track of it without focusing on growth too much. Now for the cover page, I wanted to do a sort of Polaroid design in the middle first. So I'm using the dark green marker to make a border on the outside and then a smaller one on the inside for the picture. And the top and bottom parts of the frame are a little bit bigger, like with an actual Polaroid picture. Then I colored in the frame with the light green. I'm trying not to overlap the strokes too much and then also make them all in one direction so it looks a bit more clean. For the picture, I drew a little bouquet of flowers starting with the stems and some leaves with the dark green and then making some simple petals and then also filling the empty space with the lighter green and more leaves to make it look nice and full and also adding a little bow on the bottom in black and lastly some little dots with the yellow shade. Then I used these stamps again for the title inside the frame on the bottom and I tried to space them pretty evenly but it definitely doesn't have to be perfect, I think that's kind of like the charm of the stamps. Then I also wanted to fill the page a little bit more so I added more leaves and flowers in a sort of diagonal S shape from the top left to the bottom right. The green markers I'm using have a lot of ink so it's really easy to get a bit of color variation depending on how hard you press down and so for the leaves I just kind of let the brush tip do most of the work. I also added some smaller leaves and little dots to fill the space and shape evenly. And that's the first two pages all done. I really love how they turned out so let's go ahead and move on to my habit trackers. So starting with the title on the top left, I'm using the light green again as a background and the stems for the title. I added the border with the dark green afterwards in case the green part was not long enough so I could still add more color if the title ended up needing more space. Then I'm decorating the right side with this little color palette again because like last month I wanted a bit more white space in general so just more empty spaces since usually the habit trackers end up looking pretty crowded otherwise. I ended up doing six daily habits again as always, three on the left and then three on the right side and I left a bit of space in the middle for some decoration. I'm using the dark green again for the borders and these sections are seven spaces wide for the weekdays and then also seven spaces tall because October starts on the Sunday which means there's one more week which is a bit annoying but you could also make the tracker start on that Sunday if it bothers you too much. Then I'm using the light green as a background for the titles on the bottom and I actually tried out a bunch of variations this time before settling on this design because I wasn't quite sure which colors to include and which to use where but I ended up really liking this version so if you're not sure I definitely recommend just trying a bunch of variations. Next I'm using the thin black pen again to write the weekdays on top in the section and also the habits underneath. This month I'm tracking doing my morning routine, getting up before 9am, not looking at my phone or social media in the morning, breaking out, planning my day in my bullet journal and also doing my nighttime routine. 
Lastly, I also added a bit more color using the yellow for just a simple line underneath the weekdays. Now for the middle part in between the habits, I'm drawing a bunch of flowers again and I place them like a pattern so it's not too chaotic and I also alternated between the dark green and the light green and then filled the rest of the space with some smaller leaves and also some dots but I tried to leave more empty space again so it's not too crowded. On the bottom I wanted to add some weekly habits but I kind of messed up the spacing a bit so I had to cover it with a bit of paper but I think it's not too noticeable. Anyway, I'm only tracking two weekly habits this month, doing my weekly reset and playing piano and I just wrote them with the dark green and then added five circles for the weeks in the light green next to them. For the other page, I kept the layout the same as last month because I really enjoyed just using some simple sections to plan out my month. And so first I placed a title on the left side in the same style with the light green as a background and then the stems for the title. Then also adding that border with the dark green and then the color palette on the right side. I also kept the sections exactly the same, so there are six in total for my to-dos, workouts, YouTube related stuff, self-care events and then goals. So first I'm coloring in the background for the titles with the light green. I'm just doing it in the first row of each section and of course you could do any sizes and any sections you need, which is why I think it's especially helpful. Then I'm writing the titles with the thin black pen and I centered the letters by placing each one in one of the grid spaces and I just counted where I need to start writing. So for example, my sections are 11 spaces wide and then since the word events has six letters, I left two and a half spaces on each side. I hope that makes sense. I also wanted to add a little bit of color and decoration, so I drew some flowers in the lower right corner of each section and I switched between the orange and the yellow flower and also used the light green for the stems since I wanted to use the dark green for the borders and this way there's just a bit more contrast. Then like I mentioned I made the borders with the darker green and then left out the spaces for the flowers which I think always helps to break up the sections a little bit. And that's all for these two pages, so now it's time to make my first weekly spread of October. Starting with my daily sections, I did a very simple layout again this time, splitting the page into 8 equal sections. In my journal there are 11 spaces wide and 17 spaces tall, with 2 in between them both horizontally and vertically. First I'm coloring in the background again for the weekdays with the light green, and I colored in the first 3 rows of each section. Then I'm using the stems again for the weekdays and I just wrote the first two letters but I actually forgot to add the dates which I only realized after filming but you could either place them underneath or on the green part on the right side which is what I ended up doing. Then I first made a border around the titles with the dark green because I wanted to use the lighter green for the actual sections and I also wanted to add the small flowers in the corners which you'll see in a little bit. Here I'm making the flowers like I just mentioned and this time I used the dark green again for the stems and leaves and I also switched between the orange and yellow flowers again and then also added the small dots at the end which I feel like makes them look more finished. I also didn't color in everything super clean because I like the look of it being more imperfect and it also takes a bit less time which is always a plus. Next I used the lighter green for the borders, again leaving out the spaces where the flowers are and I really love how that always breaks up the more structured and strict sections with a more playful element. I also ended up really liking the contrast between the darker title and then the light sections, so I hope you like it as well. Lastly, for the section in the upper left corner, I wanted to make another smaller Polaroid design. So I did the same thing as on the cover page, just a little bit smaller. So I'm first making the outer and inner border with the dark green and then coloring in the frame with the light green. Next, I wrote week one on the bottom part with the stems and then for the number, I just wrote it with a pen, but you could also just leave out the title entirely. Then I'm also filling the picture with more flowers again and this time I drew them more like they're growing on a field which I thought looked really cute as well. I love how versatile flowers can be in general. I feel like this month is still a lot different from last one even though they both are sort of like wildflowers. So I really hope you guys enjoy this one too. 
And that is it for this October setup, so let's go ahead and do a little flip through. I love how simple and clean this theme ended up looking. I'm definitely also getting back into using frames a bit more, but I also really enjoy including more empty space. As always, if you have any ideas, suggestions, or questions, leave them in the comments. I always love reading them and interacting with you guys. It's definitely one of my favorite parts about making videos. So thank you as always for all of your kind words. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you again next time. Bye!